are on site at the mobile home park and we are installing the Ponster 30K biofilm bioreactor system uh, as part of an upgrade to the lagoon treatment system that's been in service here for over 50 years. This is a classic example of what decentralized wastewater utilities looked like 50 years ago. Not much has changed when if you don't have access to public sewer, you have to provide your own on-site wastewater treatment uh, prior to disposing of your, of your wastewater. Back in 2020, while we were working on rolling out the modular water systems product line, our good friends told us that they had a problem with their mobile home park in Alabama. What's weird, what we found out is that all through the South, trailer parks have very crude sanitation. Basically, all the poop goes into a pond and that's it. It just sits in a pond. And if you've ever driven by one of these trailer parks in the South and you see there's a like a green pond over there, that's what it is. The lagoon system is a passive treatment system has been in operation for about 50 years. Recently, the state of Alabama has imposed certain permit improvements and permit requirements. Yeah, departments of environmental protection in Alabama and other elsewhere are trying to upgrade everything and they're requiring landlords to do something about it. In 1970, the, this park was built and the lagoon system was part of it. For the last four years, it has been real difficult for me to maintain the proper discharge and it's tested uh, once a month. They test for E. coli, they test for any oxygen levels, they test for any bacteria buildup. The last few years, we have not been able to meet the demands of ADEM, Alabama Department of Environmental Management. So they were gonna have to build something themselves. This is what I mean by forced decentralization. More and more businesses are being forced to do their own treatment because the central infrastructure is totally overwhelmed in this country and elsewhere. And so they needed a solution. And it so happened that our brilliant Dan Early, the chief engineer, has a great technology. A porous, low temperature fired, highly porous ceramic. It can hold 80% of its volume in water. Think about a, a, a putting a coral reef in all these like surfaces, right? And, and the dirty water comes through and the bacteria just eats it away. So if you had a 12 inch by 12 inch by 12 inch cube of this material, which is very lightweight, it would have an effective surface area of 900,000 square feet per cubic foot. This product's been called the Pondster, Pond Monster. Over time, you just park it by the side of the pond and run a tube through and over a period of weeks or months, the pond just becomes clear. The Ponster system, the, the treatment methodologies and the treatment capabilities that we are promoting, these are going to be next generation technologies that are going to allow us to deliver much more cost effective treatment solutions and equipment packages to those decentralized customers that need it. You don't need to wait around with wastewater just sitting there hoping nature will treat it. Instead, you put a machine there, and you put a machine there, and you suck the bad water out, and you treat it, and you, you reduce the load of bacteria and contamination in the water, and then you can release good water back to be recycled. The decentralized world is the future when it comes to wastewater. The large centralized municipal public utilities, they are committed to the path that they started down 100 years ago. But when you get into regions where they don't have public sewer, but there is a need for a wastewater utility, well then decentralization offers us this opportunity to deliver these technologies so that you can accomplish the three things that are most important to decentralized wastewater. First off is affordability. Second thing is sustainability. And the third thing is durability. I, I can't wait to showcase this for the rest of the uh, mobile home park industry. And then looking at really heavy pollution, you're looking at animal farms. And so it's becoming a really interesting product of modular water systems. When you commit to a decentralized wastewater utility system, you don't want to be thinking five or 10 years. You need to be thinking 50 years, 75 years, 100 years. And that is the, the vision and the mission that we have uh, with the modular water systems program and, and products like the Ponster 30K system.